he declared Israel would suffer the wrath of Allah. Then he dropped to the floor and eventually died. News.com has learned what happened during a parliament session in Turkey. It raised eyebrows in not only Muslim, but Jewish and Christian circles. General Assembly member Hassan Bikmez gave a strong speech on Tuesday, December 12 against Israel's siege of Gaza in the Israel-Hamas war. We can perhaps hide from our conscience but not from history, Bikmez said. But after warning about the wrath of Allah and saying salutations to all, Bikmez collapsed. He fell to his knees, then his back. Another member of parliament who is a doctor raced to his aid. Daily Mail reports chest compressions for a lengthy period did not revive Bikmez, so he was taken to an Ankara hospital. After two days in intensive care, he died. Fox News quoted doctors as saying he had a heart attack. Other reports noted he was diabetic and had received two heart stents. A small ceremony in honor of Beit Mez was held December 14 at the Turkish Parliament building. A Palestinian flag was with his coffin. Beit Mez, 53, was a member of Sadat, an Islamist political party, and was elected to Parliament in May. Turkey is more than 99% Muslim. Beit Mez belonged to a party opposed to Turkish President Recep Erdogan. During his final speech, Beit Mez claimed Erdogan still has not stopped trade relations with Israel. You allow ships to go to Israel. You are Israel's accomplice, the New York Post quoted Beit Mez as saying. You have the blood of Palestinians on your hands, a report by Newsweek added. But minutes from the meeting indicate supporters of Erdogan in parliament actually called Beit Mez's collapse after his speech God's wrath. Some evangelical Christian preachers would agree. An Al Jazeera article posted Tuesday, December 26 examined why. The evangelical view is that the creation of the State of Israel in 1948 partially fulfilled Bible prophecy. Some preachers even promote the rebuilding of a temple in Jerusalem as prophetic. News noted in mid-October that Palestinian groups called for a day of rage in part to protest plans by some Jews for a temple on the site of the disputed Dome of the Rock currently claimed by Islam with its Al-Aqsa Mosque. Demonstrations near the mosque led to what Hamas called the Al-Aqsa flood invasion of Saturday, October 7. That's what brings both feuding sides in the Turkish parliament together. They oppose Israel's siege of Gaza, which is currently in its 12th week, even though Erdogan agreed to normalize relations with Israel last year.